All right, guys, Tadpole here. Um, as you guys may or may not have known, my birthday was last Friday, and I want to do a little video. My brother got me a gift. Now, this wasn't the gift. Uh, I'm not a New Jersey Devil fan. I'm a New York Ranger fan, but these are my brother's jerseys. Well, evidently, he has a connection for authentic jerseys. Not authentic replica, but authentic replica. Uh, authentic jerseys like game worn jerseys and to me I didn't know any different you know what the hell's you know besides three four hundred dollars that you gotta pay for a jersey but um I just wanted to go over the difference in you know the difference in jerseys here this one on top here this is authentic jersey as you can see it says authentic jersey it, this was made in Canada. As you guys know, hockey's big in Canada. That's where the main office is for the NHL. This one here, my brother bought at, at your local store, I guess, uh, Sports Authority or one I could cost like a hundred bucks or whatever it was. Sports Authority models, whatever it is. This one was made in Indonesia, and it says official licensed jersey. Alright, so I know when you go to the store you see signs that say authentic replica jerseys. Well, this is an authentic replica. This, by far, would never meet the ice. Players would never wear anything that inferior in product. And to the average person, you would probably never know. But I want to go over a few things that my brother pointed out to me that I, I didn't know. This patch here... It, it feels sturdy, it feels, you know, thick and everything, but as I flip it over, or inside out, I should say, it's not sewn on. There's no stitching. This is what they call silk screening. They just iron it on, and then after time, after, you know, a year or two or a couple years, depending on how often you wear it, it'll actually start peeling and the corners will start coming off. It's... And also another thing about an authentic hockey jersey, authentic hockey jerseys have these things called fighting straps. That is put on the jersey that the players must strap to their belt or to their pants, whatever it is, so that when they get into a fight on the ice, the jerseys can't be ripped off the body. Now, the one, <clears throat> the one that my brother says is authentic, well, guess what, guys? it comes with a fighting strap this is the fighting strap on the inside it's got a button with velcro so that it virtually impossible to rip off it's elastic but it's sewn on now the decal on this one here this is the authentic one authentic replica the authentic one this you could actually feel the difference All right, yeah, this one's a lot more pronounced. It's raised off the jersey a lot more. It comes with the patch that the player is like. Uh, I believe I believe that's um, assistant captain. As I turn it inside out on this one, you can see it's all stitched. So this patch will never come off unless you want it to come off. It's actually stitched through and through on the material. All right. Well, one more thing that uh, he pointed out to me: when they sell the jerseys for retail for the average consumer, they go by extra large, or um, they use letters XL, double X, triple X, or large. When they sell them for any kind of sports—football, baseball, uh, hockey, any basketball—they don't use letters. Everything's done with numbers, size 52, 54, 50, depending on the size of the person. That's how you're fitted. Also, the other thing with the authentic jerseys, they're cut a lot tighter than a replica jersey, only because they don't want the jerseys to be flapping in the breeze. They don't want them to be baggy. And nine times out of ten, the players are in a lot better shape than the average Joe. All right. So I showed you the two hockey jerseys here. Let me show you the real reason. I want to show you what my brother got for me. 
you know, as you guys know, I live in the New York area. I live about 10 minutes from Giant Stadium, or I should say MetLife Stadium. I'm a Giants fan. So, my brother gave me one of My brother's a Jet fan. I'm a Ranger fan. He's a Devil fan. We don't like... We're twins, but we don't like the same teams. This is another... This isn't an authentic replica. This was a... Like, I guess like a $40 jersey or whatever. Um, again, from Odell's before he got his connection. This was back when Brett Favre was on the Jets. Everything is silk screen. It's just iron on there. Eventually, this is all going to fade. You know... The Jets logo here will fade. There's nothing really to it. There's nothing sewn on. It's very cheaply made, I guess you would say. It's, it wouldn't be bad for tailgating because if you get it fucked up, nobody cares, right? Well, let me show you the one he got me. This is my Eli Manning jersey. This is an authentic Eli Manning jersey. As you can see, it goes by numbers. Size 52. Uh, 52, I believe, is uh, single X. Is equivalent to single X. Uh, it's got the captain's logo on it. Let me show you again. You flip it inside out. It's all stitched on. This stuff is not coming off. The name here, there's a, there's a name plate that's on here. So you're not going to see it through there because there's a there's like this nameplate here. And again, this shirt is a little tight on me. Then again, you know I could stand to lose a couple pounds. But this is an authentic jersey. You could see that the um, the cuffs around the arms and everything they're a little bit smaller. That's so that when you put on the football pads and you put it around your sleeves aren't dangling for the defenders to grab you as a quarterback. This is an authentic game jersey. And seeing that I'm married to a Dallas Cowboy fan, I don't know what the hell she was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking marrying her. But she's got an authentic Tony Homo. Did I say Homo? I meant Roma. Jersey. And again, it's all stitched on. You know, he's not a cat, or at the time that she got the jersey, he wasn't a captain, so there's no patch on this. But as you can see, again, same thing with the nameplate around the outside, so you're not going to see, you're not going to see the stitching on the inside there. And these jerseys are very, they're not, these aren't as heavy as the hockey ones. I guess the hockey ones are a little heavier, I guess because it's cold, I, I don't know. But I just, I just wanted to show you guys the difference in jerseys. If anybody's interested, you know, you want to get a jersey or whatever, just send me a PM. We'll talk. I'll see if my brother can hook you guys up. He doesn't pay full price for them. I don't know what the pricing is. He doesn't tell me. But we can make some sort of arrangement, you know, if you guys are interested, to all you sports fans out there. All right, guys. Uh, that's basically it. I just wanted to go over that and show you guys the difference in, in jerseys. And I don't know if I could check the material. Never even thought to check the material. Let's see. Well, it's like in French Canadian language. I don't know what that is. And no, it doesn't. It doesn't give me what the material actually is. But they both have. Uh, Reebok is the sponsor of the NHL. And you can see Reebok. And I wish, like, I could show you the texture difference. This is this authentic one is definitely a more um, solid jersey. You could feel this will take a beating. Oh, uh, guys, I, I just wish I could describe to you guys in a lot better detail. But these jerseys are friggin' awesome. I've never had a jersey to this caliber before. I mean, you'd be crazy if I'm spending three, four hundred dollars on a jersey. It's not happening. But, alright guys, hit me up uh, with comments, let me know if you have any other questions, PM me. Oh, there goes my phone. Uh, just let me know what you guys think, alright?
Talk to you later.